from the bottom to the top as a commander to the bottom once again as an instructor we find out a life story of a character I never expected to get characterization like he did with this much chapter of Attack on Titan chapter 71 the chapter as it was already bluntly stated at the beginning of the chapter like in the first 10 pages the character that is the main focus the instructor that is the main focus of this month's chapter says this point blank he says like my story my life story the story I'm about to tell you will not serve any purpose in saving humanity it's not really that big of a story but would you humor me enough to listen to my story and that is what the chapter is about. It's a mini flashback. The chapter is a mini flashback of the life that a dude, a man, that started from the bottom as nothing, rose to the top, and then rose to the bottom once again, or descended to the bottom. Whoa, that was backwards. Descended to the bottom once again. So, it's a very sad and touching chapter for certain reasons, but there's a lot of emotions that are mixed in with this much chapter of Attack on Titan. For one thing, inferiority. For instance, someone that feels like they are not superior to someone above them. Someone that feels like they are a pile of shit. Someone that feels like they're useless. That is what the character, the characterization we got in this chapter. For instance, the instructor lets us know about special people and not special people. People that were born with talent to be something and do something and save humanity and then people that are ordinary, boring, and just there to fill the ranks. That is what he really tries to explain with this chapter, what he tries to dive into about his backstory. And to see that, I was quite shocked to really see a character that hasn't really had much of the focus and didn't seem that vital, so to say, to the overall story of Attack on Titan, I was still shocked to see the type of characterization he got with this chapter. Say what you will if you hate his character, you hate him, you hate this chapter, you hate this flashback, I mean, everybody has an opinion, but you have to admit, this is something that needs to be respected. When it comes to character side characters, usually they get just shafted to the side. They, they do. There's a lot of times I've seen in many manga where characters that haven't had much of an appearance that do seem to be quite the badass at the beginning just get shafted to the side and you never see them again. And that's kind of the exact same situation we this instructor wound it up in in this series. But shockingly enough, he is back into the spotlight and he gets his own chapter to talk about his life story and what happened from his perspective of when the wall fell and before the wall fell. Now getting into specific details about this backstory, we come to find out from a different perspective what happened to Aaron's father, Grisha. We come to find out that Aaron's father, he went off into the woods. Like, Aaron saw his father and we found out how they got in the woods. Like, first things first, we found out how Aaron got in the woods. That was finally cleared up and so there was some information to be obtained from this month's chapter, but a lot of it was just to give characterization and clarification on what really happened in the past and for one thing to see how it was actually this instructor that grabbed Aaron when he was unconscious in the forest and brought him back it explains a lot of information I and mean, then also what type of hopes and different personality Grisha had as a character besides of how he always treated Aaron or what he treated you know the, the royal family we see a very different perspective in the way he portrayed himself in this chapter we also get to see the life that Grisha lived when he was you know meeting his wife his lovely lo wife before he had Aaron we got to see how that happened and so the chapter is a very slow paced chapter, but I felt like the way the chapter was done, it felt like it was the proper time to do something like this. I mean, it, it did a lot of clarification that we all needed because there was a lot of unanswered questions a bunch of us had after these last couple of chapters we had of Attack on Titan. I mean, we got to find out some crazy shit with these last couple of chapters of Attack on Titan. That's going to be the obvious conclusion of Season 2 of Attack on Titan. But there was a lot of things that just did not add up. There were some things that needed to be kind of 
fixed or I guess explained to us. That's what the word I was looking for. For instance, there was a lot of things that just weren't not adding up and we needed more clarification on a lot of these different scenes that happened in the past. And to see how the mangaka decided to go back and actually write this stuff in and explain what happened in the past even more clearly for us can see... I respect that. I respect that quite a bit. So, the main points and purpose of this month's chapter of Attack on Titan was characterization of a character that I did not expect to get characterization. Number two, clarification on how Eren got in the forest with his father and how he got out of the forest, and also how Eren's father met Eren's mother. That was clarified, and we also get to see how Aaron really thinks of himself, for instance, how he feels like he's not superior to anyone else. We get to see what type of mindset Aaron currently has in his mind. And so that was really the main purpose of this month's chapter, and that's really what you can just grasp out of this chapter and really take. I mean, there's a little other points and a little different characterization here and there, but the point still stands of what I've already explained. So overall, chapter of Attack on Titan... I respect this chapter, I really like this chapter, and I don't think that this was a chapter that was wasteful. It was a perfect chapter to really dive into the past. So tell me your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.